Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Americana. Last week we ran this here Hyundai on uh, olive oil, and you know what? It ran fantastic. Go back and see that video. I'll put it up here in the on the screen for you. You can click that guy. But then make sure you come back because today we're running on Maple Pancake Syrup. And uh, I got this, uh, this is the store brand. Not only is it store brand though, because it's cheap, but it was the thickest. I mean, this stuff is, she's thick. They were out of original. I had to get some bottles of light, but that's okay, it should mix in fine, and the thickness is almost exact. Now, this thing's still got some of the, the olive oil in it, so I wanna give it a good chance. I don't wanna just go straight from olive oil to uh, maple syrup, because it, it, uh, she's in bad shape. So, I've got some used diesel oil just sitting around. We're gonna pour that in, we'll give her a run, um, it'll be fine, and then we'll call that, oh my God, is this thing still recording? No. And then we'll call that our uh, our control test. That way you can hear what it sounds like and it runs good. And then we'll go ahead and do the maple syrup. All right. And I do have a new maple syrup uh, uh, filter for the car. That's going to filter out all the inconsistencies in the syrup. All right. Let's get to it. All right. So this is just old oil out of a diesel truck that I had. And as you can see, it's in fantastic condition. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna it's gonna run. You know, it'll be good for the motor. It'll like it. It's thick. Whatever. Who cares? Now, what's my hypotenuse? Um, I think it's going to build uh, syrup pressure. I think it's not gonna like it, I'll tell you that much. It's, it's not gonna like it. I think it will smell like pancakes, but I'm not sure it's going to, I don't know if it's gonna go around the block. And the last thing, I really don't want this thing getting stuck, like I'll have to call the towing company and I might not take it around the block. We might just take her around the parking lot. Because my hypotenuse is that it basically spins a bearing. Because I think what's gonna happen is one of two things. The one, Number one, it's not gonna lubricate properly enough and it's going to, the bearings are just gonna get sticky and it's gonna grab a bearing and spin it. Or it's going to caramelize, clog up the syrup pump and not build enough syrup pressure to like lubricate the rest of the motor. So I think at that point is when it's game over. I will, I'll probably cry because uh, you know, you just don't find like quality in vehicles like this every day, and it's like, whatever. Let's, let's just get on with it. All right, here goes the control test. We're gonna fire up, see what she sounds like. All right, that diesel diesel oil is really it is thick, but uh, we'll let it run for a little bit, and it'll it'll thin out. It'll at least appreciate that, some actual oil. So you can already sound it's kind of leveling out a little bit. Uh, if you saw the last episode, she really wasn't too happy when we got back. It was, I think that oil was like, it was lubricating, but I think kind of parts were kind of gripping and you know, it was, it was screwing with the idle a little bit. But uh, let me close this down so you can get a good uh, control test. It definitely ran better this morning when it was on the regular oil when I drove it here, but that's fine. That'll do just fine. We'll run it like that. All right, I drained out the diesel oil. There is some Bertoli still mixed in there, some olive oil, but I'm going to switch out uh, this olive oil filter with a brand new maple syrup filter. So um, that way she's got the best shot and this can really filter that maple. If I had a filter cutter, I'd cut this open. There's probably large chunks of metal and bearings in here, but 
We're just gonna go ahead and ignore that. Uh, make sure you always lube. Oh, make sure you always lube your little seal here. All right, and then uh, you're gonna want to pre-fill your your syrup filter. You know, let's while we're here, let's like. I mean, that definitely has lubricating properties. But it is like, it's sticky, obviously. Everybody knows, you know, it's sticky. I mean, what do you think? Leave a comment real quick. Um, number one, it helps out the channel, but I mean, what the hell is going to happen here? Is this thing going to run on maple pancake syrup? Um, because, you know, at one point it is going to caramelize. It's going to start to caramelize and basically turn to candy. And um, we know that's not going to, it's not going to lubricate very well. So let's stick this filter on and, uh, Let's get to it. All right, I've installed the filter on there. It's about time to start pouring in some apple. So, let me just wash my hands. All right, what I'm about to do to this poor little vehicle that runs fine is just completely wrong and I do feel bad. But who am I to say that this isn't gonna work perfectly? It is delicious and that's one good thing about it is at least it tastes great and I think this <laughs> Little Hyundai is going to enjoy it as well. It's one quart and four ounces, so it's about a quart. Is it screw in? Oh, it locks in. This is like, you see that? Like, she locks in. So obviously these are made for maple syrup, so they'll probably run perfect. That one got a little dirty on the ground. Check the uh, syrup stick. It does say it's about full and there's some old dirt crap in there too. But we're, I think we'll overfill by a quart, just for good measure. Now this is light, so I don't even know what to say. It's basically super high performance. It is maybe slightly thinner. That'll help, you know, science, maple syrup, pancakes, Kia. I just hope it like, I hope the oil pump can pick it up correctly and I hope the oil filter, should I taste this? It does taste like mostly maple syrup, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastes a little dirty, <laughs> um, but that's not too bad. That's definitely doable. All right guys, we just filled it up with the syrup. Let me kick this guy on. Oh man, I just, I feel like a bad person. But you know what? It's for science. Everybody needs to know if the maple syrup will work or not for their vehicles, and it's the right thing to do. All right, just like in the last video, but this time it's the syrup light. That's gonna tell you what your syrup pressure is. It's gonna tell you zero syrup pressure or some. So we're gonna watch that right when we start it up, and if that stays on, then it's bad news. And you can, you'll be able to hear it. You'll be able to hear this thing kind of clattering away. So, oh man, here's nothing. It has built some syrup pressure. I mean, it sounds like it's working. I mean, Uh, it's doing something. All right, let's try to go around the block, I guess. I don't, uh... Oh, no. All right, hold up. I'm just going to roll around the parking lot. All right, it is running. Um, but let's see, let's see if it'll do the red line test because that's the test that matters. Everybody knows. If it passes this test, I will be seriously impressed. All right, here we go. Do we have, we have cert pressure. Oh my dude, and it smells like pancakes immediately. 
Oh, it's starting to smell like sh it's starting to smell like straight sugar candy. Look at it just smooth out. All right, we pop the garage door open. Let's get this thing back inside. I'm I'm blown away. I cannot believe it has run this long. It's idling, it's idling and it's like, oh no. All right, you know what? I think we might just save this thing. That sounded like scoring of crank, of main bearings. It works, it, uh, I'm, let's check the stick. You can see that it is caramelizing. So soon it will basically make delicious candy inside. And I'm having a hard time deciding what to do here because yeah, do we want to see it blow up? Yeah, kinda. Or do we run it on some other fluid? Let's drop this syrup and let's see what it, what it looks like. I did leave this just hand tight because that's the way to do it. So I would leave mine. Why is there like oil dripping or like syrup? Why is there like syrup dripping from up above? Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably just from the spill. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's steaming. Oh, it is full viscosity, basically. I mean, it feels like 1540, to be honest. I am so impressed with this. You can hear that it is kind of caramelized. That's why she's chunky. Oh, there's chunks coming out. Hopefully they're not metal, we'll see. It might just be chunks of caramel candy deliciousness. This is definitely, uh, it did start to caramelize. You can see that for sure. This filter weighs very heavy. I mean, it's like, it's a very heavy filter. So it's either full of caramel candies or it's full packed full of metal shavings. So, I mean, it's very interesting. You can see, I mean, that's just, it's just caramelization. We really knew this was gonna happen. So it still has some lubrication properties, but it basically just started to solidify and the, it's probably started getting getting stuck in the galleys. So I'm gonna kind of look for some metal chunks. And I'm gonna get my magnet. Yeah, I don't think there's any metal in it, I think. Yeah, there's no really metal in it, you know? And maybe it is packed into this filter. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for next week because next week we're gonna run this bad boy on Arizona green tea. Um, no, I'm actually, I'm joking, but what should we run it on? Because I think I'm going to put normal oil on this thing and we're going to fire it up again. And it's probably going to live. We'll see how good it actually survives. It wasn't sounding very, it started making scraping sounds there at the end. Um, but what should we run it on? Uh, leave a comment. I mean, I'm really down for anything because I was basically planning for it to it blow up pretty quickly. Uh, I really didn't expect it to survive the rev limiter test. Uh, I'm like, I'm genuinely impressed. I'm gonna put regular oil back in it. I don't think I'm gonna drive it home because I don't know if it's reliable in that sense. But seriously, what do you, what should we run on? Should we do like milk? Should we do like, we, I saw corn oil at the store. Corn oil was pretty thick, but I think it'll work pretty good. I mean, I, I don't wanna put like sand in there or anything like that. I mean, yeah, it'd be funny, but um, it would just fail immediately. I want something like with some, with some panache. You know what I mean? Like, let's see something like grand finale, you know? And let's like, let's finish this thing off with style. So, I don't know, you leave in the comments, okay? Maybe we do beer, maybe we do wine, I don't know, okay? Leave it down in the comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And to you guys that are my normal subscribers, if you didn't like this, it's okay. I do have some Chevy classics and some old Cadillacs possibly come to the channel. Uh, we just went out and looked at them. So that content's not going anywhere, don't you worry a bit, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. This is Lars Americana, signing off, and pray for this little Hyundai. Peace. You know in Super Troopers when they just chuck these? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs>